Some weeks ago, a young girl uh, from a village near our campus in Kupa, Monica, spoke about her experience. We are talking about the Honeywell science experience. So we wanted to learn from her what impact are we having, if any. And she said, you know, I was a hopeless student to get 20%, 30% in my exams. And so my parents decided that they would marry me off as soon as possible. It's a burden, right? And uh, she had very low self-belief that she could do well <coughs> academically or in education or whatever. One day, rather reluctantly, she came to our campus, the Kupam campus, and one of our igniters called her and said, uh, show me your finger, and he pricked it, took a small sample of blood, and told her what blood group she belonged to. Now, this was an igniting moment for Monica. See, in the same only that did not grow. But it's not the salary. Beyond that also, I think we have the opportunity to show, the opportunity to show what the clay versus putting that uh, uh, globe and putting that flag, that saved the two pieces of pencil. Not because the pencil I made that, but definitely, definitely something I made. So that grows, 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 grows. Now we are talking about every month on satellite. Probably in the, before I retire, our, my target is every week on satellite. And that's what we are trying to do. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes, Lord, I, I do want to take this opportunity not just to express thanks to, to, to this two, but also to the rest of the organization, right? So those who have uh, come in here, the media and everybody else, thank you very much for attending and taking the time on it. Uh, as Mr. Malaswani said, right, the, the whole key here is uh, there is a change agent sitting on the other side, there is a subject matter expert sitting in the middle and an enabler sitting on this side. That congruence has to happen. Right? So, so that congruence has to happen and, and we think that India's future prosperity and economic growth relies on this science, technology, education act. And I think until this congruence doesn't happen, I don't think we'll get where we need to. Yeah, uh, today uh, that Honeywell Science Experience, that Honeywell India and Agastya International uh, Foundation, uh, they are coming uh, out with a, a model way of uh, going the mobile science labs and I'm happy to be part of uh, uh, this event and um, the Agastya Foundation along with the uh, very many uh, uh, such institutions joining together uh, they are doing across the country uh, the nearly 18 states they covered across Karnataka also very many uh, schools uh, they have done it and I am happy to be part of that uh, this will enable the budding scientist to be identified at the young age. And uh, this is beyond the uh, classroom studies. Uh, one, one sees how the systems are working, how planetary systems work, how the very many systems are working, if you know. And uh, then they try to do on their own. Uh, this will enable them to identify uh, the scientist within them a mathematician within them, an engineer within them. So when they grow, they can plan their future in a much better way. And uh, 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 towards that, I think this is a very, very good model. Uh, even the villagers, people may not be even knowing he can become a good scientist. I think uh, when they know there is a scientist within them, and uh, with this sort of uh, things, it can get nurtured. Uh, I feel this is a very, very good uh, thing happening there. My best wishes for both Honeywell as well as uh, Agastya International do well.